going to explore using a couple of the different kind of healing brush tools that Photoshop has. We've already looked at the clone stamp tool and that's a fine tool to use. If I go click on it, make the bracket keys slightly bigger than the paw prints or this little dot, I could option click and get rid of that little pebble that's right there. Or I could option click here and I could get rid of that little paw print. Well, the problem is that this image is really blurry. And in some ways the clone stamp tool, I think tends to work a little bit better when things are sharp. Uh, there's some other tools that you can use when it's a little bit out of focus, or especially when you have this many marks, because this is going to require me to hit the clone stamp one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just for these areas down in here, let alone maybe here's another 10. There's maybe five more. Maybe over in here there's 20, 25 more. And every time you click the clone stamp tool, you run the risk of leaving a smear kind of behind. So for this, instead of the clone stamp, we're going to use the healing tools which is up right underneath the eyedropper. There's several. There's the spot healing brush, the healing brush, and the patch tool. This is probably the one that we're going to start off with. So I'm going to go to the patch tool. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the two dogs. I'm not going to want to get rid of them at once. I'm going to get rid of them one at a time. I am going to try to draw around this dog. I want to be pretty close to the shadow. And then the same thing, be pretty close to him over in here. And then once I get the selection around him, I stay inside my selection. I push and hold, and I want to try to drag it to the left. And what that's doing, if you can see down in the bottom left corner, I'm wiggling this, that is basically sampling sand from the bottom left, and it's moving it up and to the right to put on top of him. And unfortunately, I don't have quite enough picture here to be able to get rid of all the dog. But if I let go, it does a reasonably good job, Command D to deselect, of filling in here. It just didn't know what to do right in here. So I'm going to go back and get the patch tool again on this one. Get around this thing. Stay down here, but within the patch that I've drawn. Push and hold. Kind of pull it up and let go. Not bad. I'm going to do the same thing with this other dog. This one's a lot easier because if I stay inside the thing and I push, pull down into the left, it's going to come have plenty of extra sand to get rid of him. Command D to deselect. Now the only thing that's gone wrong when I've done this is I kind of have a harsh line here on the edge of the patch. So now I'm going to switch over and I'm going to go get the spot healing brush tool. Um, spot healing brush tool, I'm going to go ahead and change the hardness to maybe pretty close to 50. And then it's the same thing as the other clone stamp tools. I'm going to use the close bracket tool to move it up to be about 50. And then I'm just going to rub along this line a little bit and let go. And probably that patch is going to disappear. Now I can start to come out here. I don't want this thing to be way bigger than the things I'm going to go get. So I'm going to knock it down to 40. But I'm just going to click. And then on this one, I'm going to click and rub. Click. Click and rub. Kind of moving with the same angle of the beach because the sand right here that's wet is kind of pink and the stuff over in here is yellow so I kind of want to move in this direction here. So rub, 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 rub along in there, click. So I can keep doing this to get rid of a lot of these dog footprints. Pretty good tool. Again because it's blurry this is working probably better than the clone stamp thing is going to do. The other thing I could do is if I come down here and I made myself kind of some plain sand down here by getting rid of some of these dog prints and getting rid of some of these pebbles. My brush is probably bigger than what it needs to be down here for this. But if I get rid of some of these and make myself a new clean patch of sand, I can go back and get the big old patch tool and I could probably draw a box around these guys. And then again, stay inside the patch and pull down onto this kind of clean sand that I made. Pretty clean sand that I made and let go. And it's even going to go ahead and put back this kind of pinky blue haze back in there. Same kind of thing. I could draw around these guys. And as long as I pushed down in here, I could probably do this. Push down in this direction. And then I can go back and just get the spot healing brush. 
but for some reason it doesn't seem like it's doing a very good job here on this you could always go get just the healing brush tool and if I click on it this one wants me to actually option click so it's kind of back to almost like a converted clone stamp tool so the big difference between this tool and the clone stamp tool is that it tries to do the cloning tool just clones. The clone stamp tool tries to go ahead and kind of blur the edge and mix and match the colors as it goes. And again, when the picture is a little bit out of focus, it works just absolutely fantastic for that. But ultimately when I'm done, I can have myself a pretty clean beach here. Let me go back to see if I've got any kind of smudges or any kind of problems I need to fix. Maybe right here. On that right in there. And there I kind of successfully, or if I think that there's still too hard of a line here, I can go get a really big brush. Like option click this in here just to try to make a kind of a fade in that transition. Ultimately I got rid of the dogs and pretty much all the footprints too. So that's all there is to it. Of course I should have cloned this layer first in that way. If I messed up the image I was working on, I could just throw it away and go back to the background all over again. Or if while you're working, you have just a horrible problem, like everything was sailing along and it was great, and then you got to a point where something really stunk, you could go back and try to find where that point was along the way by clicking on different past versions of the image. Like I could go all the way back to pretty much the very beginning if I wanted to or I can go back to my absolute newest version here. Then when I'm done, since I don't need to have any extra layers saved on this one, I can just go up to File, Save As, pull down and let it be a JPEG, put some name on it, and save the JPEGing at nine or 10 is probably pretty good and click OK. And that's all there is to using kind of some of the patch tool and the uh, healing brush and the spot healing brush as complements to the clone stamp tool.